This juicy meat rotisserie combined with three flavorful sauces, plenty of fresh vegetables, and a warm, fluffy bread make the hearty and heartwarming doner kebab. It's arguably the most popular street food and late night eat in Berlin, and found on nearly every street corner. But only one stall draws a line of both tourists and locals at all hours of the day. It's called Mustafa Gamuza Kebab. You can see. <laughs> It's very juicy. The chicken is amazing. Well, this is definitely one of the best tonal kebab I've ever had. Why, Jurum? Complete, alles? Alles, 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 yeah. Alles, genau. This is like when you go to a restaurant and you have, you have food, and there are other items to add. And and. Im Döner ist eben alles in Brot. Alles, was im, auf dem Teller ist, kommt ins Brot. Cooking lamb meat on a vertical rotisserie has been a popular tradition in Turkey and throughout the Middle East since the 18th century. But how did the Doner Kebab become a beloved sandwich in Berlin? In the 1960s, Germany was in need of laborers, and so it began inviting Turkish citizens to work in the country. And many of them never left. Today, the country is home to the largest Turkish community outside of Turkey. It's said that one of those Turkish immigrants, Kadir Nerman, was the first to introduce the sandwich to Berlin in the 1970s. Nerman had an idea for feeding customers on the go. He took the original donor plate and stuffed that roasted meat and salad into bread. Many argue that Middle Easterners were eating the sandwich long before it made its move to Germany's capital, but Berlin claims it as their own today. Es gibt verschiedene Versionen und ich glaube daran, dass der Döner aus meiner Heimat kommt. Anfang der 90er habe ich angefangen im Dönerbereich äh, zu arbeiten und so nach und nach hat das angefangen und Mustafas habe ich 2005 äh, beginnt Mustafas Geschichte. The guy from the hostel told us that it's a good place to go. Yeah, yeah told us that we should expect a queue. That's what we are experiencing. But not too long, actually. Maybe no, 20 like, minutes? No, 45 minutes. Okay. It can get very, very long, like uh, one hour at uh, 7, 8 p.m., when, uh, especially in the weekend. Diese große Anzahl von Kunden, das ist natürlich auch ähm, eine logistische Sache auch. Es ist immer, das sage ich auch zu meinen Mitarbeitern, zu meinen Jungs, ob jetzt da 100 stehen oder 500 oder 3, das ist egal. Wir müssen uns auf, dieses, auf diesen Döner für diesen Menschen konzentrieren und ihm zuhören und genau erfahren, wie er seinen Döner haben möchte. Every morning they bring in a new piece of rotisserie donner meat, which weighs about 330 pounds and is prepared and served throughout the day. Once the meat is ready and the ingredients are prepared, Mustafa Gamuza Kebab opens for business and is ready to take its first orders of the day. Despite offering a variety of sandwiches and snacks, their most popular dish is by far the traditional donner kebab. So what goes into this famous sandwich? First, a freshly baked piece of bread is buttered and toasted. Then the specialty sauces are mixed together inside the bread. Next, layers of thinly sliced meat are added, followed by grilled vegetables and your fresh salad of choice, topped off with cheese and a squeeze of lemon. And? Alles tamam. It was great. It was awesome. I'm quite blown away. I like this very much. Gemüse in German means vegetables, and ensuring only fresh vegetables go into the sandwich is what makes Mustafa Gemüse so special. Es geht alles um und für den Döner und der Kunde äh, respektiert das und äh, er kennt das an und äh, liebt uns dafür. Doner Kebab is not just a sandwich, it is definitely a full meal. A <laughs> Mustafa's yeah. Genus Kebab. Yeah. <laughs> Mustafa's yeah. Genus Kebab. <laughs>